The Vanishing Door. Hi guys, I'm Vishu and today I will give you a knowledge full story which will help you to listen in English. This story will enhance your pronunciation and listen skills. Let's start. First of all, look at all the characters of the story. Maya, a curious 12-year-old girl. Sam, Maya's older brother, 15 years old. Grandpa Jack, a mysterious and wise old man. Maya and Sam were spending the summer at Grandpa Jack's old house, a place full of strange secrets. The house was huge, with creaky floors and dusty corners. Maya was always curious, while Sam just wanted to play video games. But one day they found something strange. Maya noticed a door in the hallway they hadn't seen before. Sam, look at this, she called. Sam looked up, puzzled. That door wasn't there yesterday, he said, frowning. They stood in front of the door, wondering what was behind it. Maya reached for the doorknob, but Sam stopped her. What if it's dangerous, he warned. Maya hesitated, but her curiosity won. She turned the knob slowly. The door creaked open, revealing a dark, cold room. They both took a step inside. As they entered, the door slammed shut behind them. They spun around, but the door was gone. Where's the door, Maya exclaimed. Sam felt along the wall, but it was solid. We're trapped, Sam whispered. The room was pitch black, and they couldn't see a thing. Suddenly, they heard a faint whisper. Who's there, Maya asked, her voice trembling. The whispering grew louder, but they couldn't understand the words. We need to find a way out, Sam said, trying to stay calm. They fumbled in the dark, looking for an escape. Maya's hand brushed against something cold and smooth. She yanked her hand back in fear. What was that? She gasped. Sam felt along the wall and found it too. It was another door, but this one was even colder. Should we open it? Sam asked. They had no other choice. Sam turned the icy doorknob and the door swung open silently. They stepped through, and suddenly they were back in the hallway. But something was different. The house felt colder, and the shadows seemed darker. Maya, look, Sam pointed to a portrait on the wall. It was Grandpa Jack, but he looked much younger. How did this get here, Maya wondered. They had never seen that picture before. They hurried to find Grandpa Jack, their hearts racing. When they found him, he was sitting by the fireplace, looking deep in thought. Grandpa, what's going on? Maya asked. Grandpa Jack looked at them with sad eyes. You found the door, didn't you? He sighed. That door leads to another time, a time when I was your age, Sam, and Maya stared at him in shock. But why did it appear now, Sam asked. Grandpa Jack shook his head. The house has its secrets. It shows the door to those who are ready. But once you enter, you change something in time, and time changes you. Maya shivered. Did we change something, Grandpa Jack nodded slowly. Yes, but what you changed... Only time will reveal just then, they heard the door creak open again. But this time it wasn't in the hallway. It was right behind them. They turned slowly, hearts pounding. But when they looked, the door was gone, leaving only a faint whisper in the air. The house has spoken, Grandpa Jack said softly. Now, we wait and see what it has to say. And with that, the room fell silent, leaving them all in a suspenseful stillness.